Hey everyone, May is in the books. Wanted to give you a quick update on my trade results for the month of May. So quick risk disclosure, we are not financial advisors or broker dealers. Past performance may not be indicative of future performance. Please pause the recording and read the full disclosure. Uh, before I jump into mine, real quick on Chad's results. So Chad runs our live stream for the Mighty 90 and Runner Strategies in the morning. Uh, here's his results on those trades. Mighty 90s, nice win percentage, 86% win rate, 12 winners, two losers, plus 1,900. Volume runners, eight winners out of 12 for 3,794. And continuation runners, two winners out of three, plus 190, total 5,914. And then on his zero DTE strategies, continues to kill it. Uh, he breaks them down by AM lunchtime and power hour, and he did a uh, little over 38,000 on his AM trades, uh, just under a thousand on lunchtime and a little over 18 K on power hour for a total profit on the month of 57,766, uh, about a 79% win rate on 72 trades. So Chad continues to kill it with his TLC strategy. Uh, on to mine. All right. So just like I've been doing in, in prior months, breaking these down by account, and then I'll jump into the actual trades. So for my trade ear standard margin account, this is primarily back test driven calendars and then plus random other trades. Basically if I need SPX strikes that I don't have in toss, sometimes I move over into this account, but the, the vast majority of it, vast majority of it is these back test driven calendar spreads. Uh, plus 14% for the month, uh, a little over 8% drawdown in the account. Uh, so this account is hit new equity highs for the year. It's up about 20, uh, about 20% year to date. So here's the monthly breakdown. You can see this is my best month in this account, um, for the year. Uh, I had a, started off slow, had a little drawdown, a little bigger drawdown. And then the last three months have all been positive in this account. On my TOS standard margin account. So this is my challenge portfolio. Uh, so this consists of RICs, one DTEs, and zero DTE re-entries, all, uh, all firing via bots. Total return for the month in the account plus 15.66% with a little over 9% drawdown. Here's the equity curve year to date, not back up to the uh, end of March highs or beginning of April highs, but a uh, positive month nonetheless. This is a pretty aggressively allocated portfolio. So kind of the P&L swings uh, are expected to be um, somewhat wild. Here's the monthly breakdown, January, February, March, all positive. Last month was negative. And then of course the bounce back in May. And then my TOS portfolio margin account. This is a lot of zero DTE, some option selling, hedgehogs, portfolio margin trades. Uh, this account has been pretty uh, pretty subpar all year. Uh, slight red return, minus a little under 2%. Max drawdown, almost 8 for the month. Here's the P&L curve. You can see I've spent a lot of time under the zero line this year in this account. Uh, just kind of chopping around and I've, I've been, I've changed a lot of different things that I've been doing in this account. Um, and I do a lot of testing in this account so that that has a lot to do with it as well, but still not positive peaked above the zero, <laughs> zero line a couple of times, but, uh, currently still a little bit underwater. And then here's the monthly breakdown, a couple of small losing months, the first couple months, small winner, big loser, small loser this month. All right, so that's my buy account. Now let's jump into buy strategy. So let me bring up my trader sync. So here's zero DTE for the month of May, a little over 60,000. So nice month in zero DTE. I break these down by the different categories. Let's start with my, what I call my AM trades. Uh, just three of those, three winners for a little over 5,200. On my challenge portfolio, I'll break these down individually. So on my one DTE trades, took 14, a little over 5,000 on those. Those continue to do well. My one-to-one -one re entries, uh, just barely green, just plus 2,200 on 29 trades. 
My three twos fared much better. A little over 18,000 on those on 26 trades. And then power hour, just a couple of trades for power hour. Yeah, five five different trades. Um, let me refresh that. Five different trades uh, plus 1,500 on those power hour trades. Uh, my ricks, I have an early entry and a late entry. Uh, just one day, that was the beginning of May. These have not been qualifying due to the filters that I use. So just two trades on those uh, plus 2,600. We did have an FOMC day this month, had a nice FOMC day. All four of my FOMC trades hit. Sorry, I gotta refresh this. Uh, all four trades hit plus 11,000 on that for those FOMC trades. I've been doing a 1DTE, 1DTE hedge in RUT, uh, which has been doing really well. Had some red this month, minus 7,000 on, on 16 trades. And this is really not designed to be a big, necessarily income generator, but more of a P&L smoother, uh, but red this month, minus 7K. Uh, JSPs, I'm not doing this, these mechanically, but I did take one on a discretionary basis that was good for plus 1350. Uh, my NDX, this was kind of my everyday NDX trade, which I've omitted from my trade plan going forward, but for the month of May, uh, a little bit red, minus 2500 on 18 trades. And then power hour outside of my challenge portfolio. Get all these checked. So yeah, just 10 trades, uh, red minus 5,500 on those. And then my PM trades. Make sure that's correct. Yeah, so just three days. So there's multiple, some of these are, yeah, these are all tranches, so. These are just by day. So one day was positive plus 1,600, and then a couple losers, minus 25, minus 27. So minus 3,600 total on those for the month. And then price action. So these are kind of discretionary, um, kind of sprinkling these in around my other strategies. So small green for the month, plus 1,700 on 36 trades. My 1DTE quad 40, uh, I sized up on this day, uh, which ended up being a loser, of course. Huh, it's funny how that happens. Uh, but minus about 4,200 for the month on my quad 40 trades. Quiet midday tranches. Again, these are tranches, so this is more of per day. Uh, so I had two days, small winners, and then three days, which were losers. So one, one big losing day. Uh, so minus 15K on those. And then re-entries outside of my challenge portfolio. I've got my one-to-ones, which did a lot better in this uh, outside of my challenge portfolio than they did. Remember, those were just bas basically barely green, plus a couple thousand, uh, almost 18,000 um, on outside of my challenge portfolio. And then on my three twos outside of challenge, uh, plus 8,400 on 12 trades. Did do some discretionary RICs um, outside of my challenge portfolio. Six of those, two were standard, four of them were discretionary, a little over 4,100 on those combined. Uh, vertical with put kicker. This is something that I've just started trading, had a really big day here for almost 11,000, another $1,600 winner, and then a loser for minus 3,000. So plus 9,305 on those three. A vol Crush Long Strangle. All five of these were winners for plus 4,400. My O2 Call Calendar had one loser for minus 1,900. The rest were winners. So on six trades, plus 4,100. My 1DTEs outside of my challenge portfolio, 20 trades plus 4,200. And then my 2DTE, which I'm just testing very small, 
Um, two winners, one loser, pretty much scratch. So that's it for zero DTE. On dynamic butterflies. So it took a big loss on a time fly, minus 10K. Uh, and also had one for minus 34, had a winner for 1100, so minus 12, a little over 12 on those. On my dynamic calendars, let me just do this to get all those. Make sure that's correct. Yeah, plus uh, 7,300 on my calendars. Had a uh, couple sizable losses. There's a $3,200 loss on a four or five. Nice string of winners, but overall uh, green for the month, plus 7,300 on my calendar spreads. Option selling. Take off the calendars. So on option selling, had some winners on some short strangles, a vol contraction trade, a couple of hedgehogs, short strangles. Uh, one lo only one loser. That was on a hedgehog uh, for minus three thirty, so plus twenty eight hundred on my option selling. And then lastly, portfolio margin. With the current environment, been pretty light on these positions. So we've got uh, one loser for a hundred, one winner for eight hundred, one winner for thirty five hundred, one loss for forty. This one is still open, so. It was actually for closed trades. It was actually positive about close to four thousand uh, on my PM trades. This one is still open, and that was just an adjustment, uh, so that could still end up being a winner. So that is it for May. Hope everybody has a good June. Talk to you soon.